Hi, this is Carlos. Uh, this is the post-flight debriefing on the Pickerel final design. Um, I have uh, probably about a total of an hour of flying time at this point on it. I still haven't explored the, the entire flight envelope, but I've learned a few things about it which I wanted to share. Um, well, first of all, the airplane uh, absolutely needs to have um, up, you know, the elevators turned up because without it, um, it's you can't, you know, you really can can control it. So the uh, I'll I'll, be, I'll I'll measure this more carefully and post uh, with the with the drawing, but it's about an inch on the on the tip of the elevons. And with an inch back there with the servos in neutral, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, you know, when I first built it, I had zero and it just caused no end of problems. So, in fact, I was thinking that I was thinking that it was just too tail heavy. And I did have the battery right in front of the motor originally and that, that, wasn't, that wasn't the best. Uh, but it was the, also the combination of the two. So now I'm putting the battery in the space right in between the motor mount and the front support. Um, let me hold up the airplane. But it's this is the one that I'm using uh, for all of my flying. And I've, I've tried a couple of different size batteries just to see what, you know, the weight is very sensitive. And so that, that's working well. And with the elevons up turn like this, um, launches are really not hard. The, the, only, the only problem with launches, but this is always an issue, because I, I, I never launch with full power. In fact, my, my goal, and I wrote an article about my, my, about my hand launches, my goal with a launch is to give it enough power for a long glide. And, and I know with this airplane, half throttle is plenty. I can climb in half throttle. So sometimes, you know, of course I'm eyeballing it, so sometimes I don't give it enough power. And, and by the time I can get my hand back on the control stick and give it a little bit more power, give it a little bit of up elevator, it might be about to hit the ground. So that happens once in a while, but you know, it's, it's just a long glide, you know, it's not gonna, you're not gonna break anything. And, and, and you know, with practice, you get to be better at judging how much power you need to do a, a nice climb out from a hand launch. So, so I've gotten better. In fact, I practice uh, a bunch of uh, hand launches just to, you know, and also uh, power off glides just to get a feel for it. So, so as far as uh, pitch stability, I think it's fine. Uh, I think a couple of times I, I, I dove it and, it and it picks itself up very quickly. You know, this is a pretty compact airplane. So the moments along the three axis are not very big. So it's very maneuverable, but again, I, I foresaw that from the beginning. That's why I called it Pickerel. Um, it, um, so pitch stability is fine. You know, it's, it's just short coupled, so it's, it's very sensitive to pitch, pitch input. Uh, directional stability or yaw stability is, is excellent. In fact, uh, I, think, I think this one is flying a little better than my half size prototype, because that one I saw a little bit of hunting this one I've never seen any. So so it definitely does not re need a vertical stabilizer. I think it's just fine the way it is. The only thing that's going to give you problems is the roll stability side to side and it's stable. It just doesn't have a lot of extra stability and and the wind, you know, comes and hits it and it just kind of goes like this and then you know it's going to slowly come back. But but the other thing is that I could get it into a, into a a banked circle, you know, maybe 30 degrees, and hands off, it will just stay there. So, you know, it doesn't have tons of roll stability, but it's, it was never intended to be a beginner's airplane. So I'm, I'm okay with it. And, and that's just the nature of the design, you know, there's no dihedral. So all the, all the roll stability is coming from the sweep, which is significant on the front wing, but of course the rear wing helps to uh, lower that. Um, so I think I think it's fine. You just have to pay attention, especially if it's windy and gusty, which is the way it's been every single time I go and fly. So so the wind is going to kind of you know, but it you know the the whole airplane only weighs I think like 6.2 ounces, and and it's got a good size wing area. 
so it's got a very a, a pretty low wind loading and and the wind just you know will will move it around and you know I don't know how well you can see this in the video of it flying but you know you can go like this and it'll just jump up and jump down because the wind is hitting it and the and the wind you know might do it like that too um just pay attention to it you'll be fine um you know the I think I'm happy with the with this part how it is I thought of maybe redesigning it I think it's fine you know I just need to do a, a good job of gluing it I think the area of the elements is fine um, it's fine you know I, I wouldn't mess with that um, this part back here you know no issues I did I did reinforce it with some clear tape but this is no issues with it uh, I did have a couple of nose scenes and the nose held up fine um, you know not much to say these are I think like seven gram servos digital they got plenty of power you know you can probably use something smaller this is a blue wonder you know 24 gram motor and I most of my flying was done with about five two cell 500 milliamp power and I was getting like you know 13 minutes flight time so and that's plenty that's plenty so as far as the flying uh, again almost all of it was done at 50% throttle and it'll climb and it'll fly fine uh, full power I can nose it up and it will be like I don't know 70 80 degree angle uh, pretty stable and it, will, and it just climbs up, uh, you know, it's not a rocket, it was never intended to be, but it's got a decent, you know, climb rate. And then I cut the power, you know, nose comes down, level, it levels itself off. Um, you know, nothing real dramatic. You know, uh, I really, I, I really should have painted one side of it, and I didn't, and I meant to do that before going flying, and I forgot. Um, but with practice, you learn, you learn to know how the airplane is going to behave, so then you're not as surprised, okay, you know, which way is it facing now. Um, but definitely paint one side of it, I don't know, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, because it will help you with flying. Um, as far as the hand launches, I, I, I always did sidearm launches, you know, grabbing it from around the CG. Um, they're, they're pretty, it's surprisingly easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder to do the, that, that type of launch. And this is me with the transmitter in one hand and doing a sidearm launch on a, you know, a short couple flying wing. Um, so, you know, with a little bit of practice, uh, I was getting them every single time. So, you know, it was just fly off on its own and then just a little bit of control. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I would change anything with the design as, as I built it. I mean, I thought of moving the motor up because I was concerned about the CG, but I think it was the, the other ones that were really causing me the problem. So having the battery up in between, I think is perfect because then you can move it back, you can move it forward, you get some leeway. I wouldn't fly with less than 500 milliamp power anyway. You know, you want a good flight time. Um, a couple, couple of things about it. I did do some uh, power off gliding just to get the feel for it and see what, what it will do. It's got a, a very nice glide ratio. Uh, again, you know, the wind, the wind will have a tendency to, to throw it around a little bit. Uh, but it, but um, yeah, you know, if I, I, I usually was overshooting my, my landings power off. Um, but, you know, power off, I got it into a 45 degree bank and I wanted to see if I could do a tight circle and I discovered I did not, didn't have quite enough up elevator to maintain altitude, you know, with a, four, again, 45, 45 degree bank um, power off. And I think, I think that's gotta be a side effect of the motor being in the middle of the airplane and, and you know, all the air is going right over this rear wing. So I, I suspect there's a lot of lift that is generated there. That's just a theory. I'm sure there's a lot of lift here in the front because it's pulling in the air. So, so anyway, um, you know, I, I don't think that's an issue. You know, but if, if, if you keep the wings fairly level, power off, then you're fine. Um, and I didn't. I don't think I ever did a flare on the landing because it's you know the the glide ratio is so good anyway. It was just not an not an issue. You know, it just comes in. The whole thing is so flat on the bottom. You know, I was flying over short grass and it just kind of tends to slide. But that, you know, nothing wrong with that. Um, 
the other thing is I did I did go up to the altitude and I tried I tried to do a uh, a fast roll, which I didn't want to do close to the ground, and it looked to me like it had a lot of adversio, and and I I didn't I didn't program any of that in, but it just kind of went a little bit crazy on me, you know. I let go of the controls and it you know it corrected itself, and I, I did it a couple of times. So so my my hunch is that you you should either do it mechanically, which I I, I didn't do, I, I didn't have I don't have too much of that in this one. That's just the way I built it. Uh, but you know through the transmitter. Uh, you want to program in some uh, aileron differential, and I think and I think that will help a lot with the a fast roll. I I don't think I tried looping it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I tried that. I did I did do a couple of stalls. I mean power on. I I did slow it down, and it was and what happened. And this is also you know without a lot of power on, and it was just kind of mushing down. Which is fine, you know. I didn't want to push it too much, but at altitude, I did go power off and did uh, a couple of stalls, and it just kind of comes up and it goes down and it recovers. So it, it's it's all this stall is over pretty much before you even realize what happened. Uh, it, and both times it was straight, very straight. So I was very happy with that. Um, so stalls are almost almost a non-event. You know, the, the recovery is so quick that. You know, it's it's <laughs> you really have to be <laughs> to push it, and I did a, a lot of slow flying close to the ground, you know, with power, and n at no point did I feel that it was getting close to the stall. And of course, you know, it maybe maybe it was getting a little bit mushy, which is why you know there there was more of, of this going on. I did notice that I, I, if I went faster, it was definitely more stable in the roll, but. You know, it's just a fun to fly airplane. Looks very different. Um, a lot of the flying that I did was less than ten feet off the ground, and you know, I, you know, if you give it power, you know, if it gets too low to the ground, you can just give it power, and it's gonna accelerate very quickly because there's just not a lot, lot of mass to it. But also, I have a hunch. You give it power, there's a blast of air over the air surfaces, so all of a sudden it's also going to have a lot more lift. So, so the, you know, if you get close to the ground and you're slow, give it power and very quickly it's going to climb up. Um, so at no point, you know, did I, was, I felt I was in danger of, of crashing, you know, while I was flying. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, I think the design is plenty strong as it is. It, 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 it couldn't be simpler to build, you know, unique looking. Um, and and I think I think it will be a lot of fun in the air. I'm I'm still I'm still just just learning how to fly it. I need to put in some differential, um, but I, I want to try doing some loops and and stuff like that. I just haven't done it. Uh, so anyway, I hope you build one and uh, you know let me know. Send me send me some pictures. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how you like it. Again, it's not a beginner's airplane, but if you if you're you have experience with other airplanes and you're comfortable with an airplane that's not you know, it's not unstable, but it's not real stable on, on roll, then you'll be fine. Um, so till next time.